This is a mistake I've made with using Turnitin, and you may have done it too. So if you want to create a Turnitin assessment, you go to Tools, and under Turnitin Assignment, choose to create a paper assignment. And we're going to create a paper assignment, and we'll just call it First. We'll give it a point value of 100, and let's look at the optional settings. So again, you should give instructions that students should upload their final assignment here. I'm going to allow assignments after the due date. They're going to generate reports for submission. The first report is final. And I'm just going to pick up the default up uh, for all of these. I'm going to leave it to go to no repository in this case. And I'm going to choose that we're going to have a rubric for the um, public speaking rubric. And I'm going to then hit submit. Clicking OK, it's added the Turnitin assignment. Now, I come back later on and I want to add another Turnitin assignment. So I go through the same process. I'm going to choose a paper assignment type, click Next. And this time I'm going to just create a second assessment. I'm going to again make it 100 point value. I'm going to choose to just leave it as the defaults from here. And I'm going to hit Submit. So most of the time you would assume that that would just set up your second assignment as you want it. But if we go in and look at it carefully, Notice we didn't edit the optional settings. So as we scroll down here, under the optional settings, there's no instructions, but it's picked up the same settings as before. So it's not going to a repository, even though I might want it to. And it also has attached the public speaking rubric. Uh, so you have to be careful about that. If you have this box ticked, would you like that these options for future assignments, then when you create a new assignment, it will use the same rubric and it will use the choice that you have for submitting papers too, even though you mightn't have intended that. And for me, um, I've attached the wrong rubric to a student submission. Now you can always go back and do what we're doing here and edit it and remove the link to the rubric and we can detach the rubric and we can make other changes as well. Uh, but just to be aware that if you have saved your settings, then these will be used by default, even though you don't open up those additional optional settings.